welcome to 2021 and i am alok shivastava and this is my first talk on localhost in the year 2021 so we have survived 2020 <laughs> so congrats to all of you and thanks to god so things were not that bright and sunny in 2020 we had seen a less of everything less of opportunities less of jobs less of salaries uh, less of movies less of rides less of bike rides yes obviously so we have seen less of everything but things will change and we hope and i sincerely hope that the things should change in 2021 for all of you so my first talk on localhost is on how to get more in 2021 and specifically i am talking ab uh, about the more learning the learn to the, the zeal or the urge to learn more in 2021 is what is going to help me in in uh, what we might have lost in 2020 the less of 2020 2020 was less in every aspects except the covid it spreads like anything the things i hope are will be in control very soon so guys your uh, first uh, like point or my advice to you in 2021 is start asking more from your trainings start asking more more contents more close to the production scenarios start asking these questions i'll give you some points what you should be asking like the first training that you or, or anyone will start is from the rsc essay red hat certified system administrator training that's the first training if you wanted to build up a career in uh, it and you cannot afford to ignore linux these days everything is building around the cloud and building around the linux so when you are going for RSCSA training, what are the things that you should be looking for, right? So don't join anywhere if, don't join us, I'll say, don't join us if you are only happy with, uh, okay, by just learning that, okay, open source, Red Hat Linux is an open source software, it is free, that's why the companies are using it. So don't join us if you think that is good and you are happy with that. You should be joining us if you wanted to know why Fortune 500 companies are running Linux, why Google is running Linux. They are not running Linux just because it is free. Google has got no shortage of money. So there must be some security aspects. If you uh, go back in your memory lane and think there might be one point in your time when you are working on the Microsoft Windows operating system. No offense to Microsoft Windows, but and you had started updating a driver in the Windows hangs. Why? Why that is happening? Why we don't have that kind of uh, incidents happening in Linux? What is the... What actually is a Red Hat Linux? Is it an OS? No, it is not an OS. Ask for more. It is a kernel, technically speaking. Linux is a kernel. It is not an OS. So, and how the design of the Linux kernel is different from a Microsoft kernel? What is a monolith? What is a monolithic kernel? What is a modular kernel? These are the reasons why the companies are working on Linux, not because of, of the price. That's a half of the story. So you should be learning that when you are. Uh, starting your RSCSA, you should be asking question um, why the footprint of the kernel in uh, like or, or the footprint of the OS uh, in my case Linux is smaller than the footprint of Windows. Why? So these things need to be asked. These are the mores or in the training. You should be asking those questions. Second, one important topic is that don't be happy with less that I know the installation part. I, I know how to do the installation of Reddit link of uh, Reddit. It's it's if you're doing it for the first time, it's very simple. It's a GUI. All you do is next, next, next. It's as simple as you are installing the Windows. No. Th 
things will not work like this in the production. I tell you, you should be asking more from the installation topic, from your RSCSA. The partition scheme differs from server to uh, server. If I am installing a FTP server, the partition scheme will be different. If I am installing a SAMA server, the partition scheme will be different. If I am installing a web server, then the partition scheme will be different. So are you aware of that? Because eventually you have to work in a production scenarios. The partition scheme for a database server will, will be different. It is not as easy as you think just, just, just do a next, next, next and the things will be done. No, it doesn't work like that. So ask for more. How much swap shall I be, be having? What is the difference between a swap and a virtual memory? Is if too much uh, and uh, how much swap shall I put? These are the questions that need to be asked. Dude, does the order of creating the partition matters? Yes, it matters while you are uh, trying to install a server in a production scenario. It matters. So you should be asking these questions when you are doing your RSCSA more from the topic. Another very important topic is the user administration once because it's a normal sysadmin job to manage user accounts. So don't be happy with the less of knowledge that, okay, I know user at command and the group at, at command. That's a less. Unless you know what happens when you create a user account, what are the files and the folders that got involved? What is the significance of etc scale in creating the user account? What is the significance of etc login.defs in creating the user account? Right. What, how the default password policies can be changed? What are the values uh, going inside the Etsy password? What values goes inside Etsy shadow? How the passwords are saved? Why if I give, I've got two users, say A and B, and I assign the same password to them, the passwords are still the different random characters in Etsy shadow. Why? I have input the same password. Ask these questions. This is more. This is what you will be grilled in the interviews when you are going for a job ask for these things more more from your training more from life more from everything should be the uh, idea behind 2021 another very important topic in your rscsa and is often neglected is the process one don't be happy just by learning some command like ps top command. Don't be happy with just understanding those puny commands. You should be knowing in detail about the process life cycle. More from that process chapter. Unless you know the process life cycle. Unless you know what is a virtual memory of a process. Unless you know what is the resident set size memory of a process. Unless you know what is a shared memory. Unless you know what is the ohm killer, when the ohm killer will be activated, that's a very common issue on the production servers. Unless you know the difference bit, uh, be, like between the cache and the buffer, unless you know that while killing the process, I should always use sick term, I should never use sick kill, and what's the difference between a sick term and a sick kill? You are actually learning less, or you have learned less, you have just wasted your time and, and money. So focus on more from that uh, process topic. It's a very important topic. More should be the idea behind it. Another very important topic is uh, from your RSCSA is the your SSH. Everything is moving onto the clouds. Everything is moving onto cloud. We don't have physical data centers. The data centers are getting decommissioned. So don't be happy by, by just learning, okay, I do SSH root at IP address and I will be hitting on the remote server, I can do the job. No, don't do that. That is less. Ask for more. Why SSH? What happened with Telnet? Telnet was doing the same thing. Why Telnet is being uh, uh, discontinued and we don't use Telnet? What's the difference between SSH and the Telnet? Right? What is the man in the middle attack? What is IP spoofing? What are the digital signatures? 
can i see man in the middle attack practically so unless you know these things about from the ssh topic in your rscsa it's less won't do any help trust me won't do any good another topic is ntp without ntp you cannot have the data center server running you should have ntp configured we cannot rely on the hardware clock on the production servers so what is ntp so don't be happy if you have learned the go to line number strategy training methodology right install the package open the file go to line number and add it this is nonsense if you have learned like this that is nonsense line number strategies of configuring the files is a absolute nuisance absolute unless so from uh, ntp topic or from crony what we say unless you know what are stratums what is a radio clock and a atomic clock what are the different stratums right and how my data centers will be connected to a ntp server are all the servers allowed to go to the internet or one server will will be connecting to the ntp which is available on the internet so you should be aware of stratums right you should be asking question who is controlling earth time from where it is controlled so stratums are very important from crony or ntp perspective so ask for more ask for what are stratums another very important topic in rscsa is sc linux trust me guys people don't have any idea of sc linux what sc linux does if you ask them a very simple question okay we already have the chmod cho on ch group set fsl get fsl commands to control the access on the files and the folders why do we use sc linux what's the purpose they will make you move around the earth and come back on the same spot on the earth without any answer trust me so you should not be limiting yourself in understanding okay i can use the sc status command to enable and disable the sc linux i can go to sc sc linux and the config file to make it enable and disable this is merely cramming of the commands which is not good you should be learning why sc linux uh, if the files and the folders are being uh, secured by the utilities like cho on ch mode set fsl get fsl right so what sc linux is doing what it is securing so unless you learn those things that what it is securing so how sc linux actually it secured the services right so if you are not aware of that that how what kind of security the sc linux does you are not doing justice to yourself you are not at all learning more you are simply cramming some commands and you should also be asking questions sc linux is a beautiful feature it is a project which is being uh, started by nsa national security agency of us still guys you will find on a lot of production servers sc linux is disabled administrators intentionally disable it why ask questions why when it is a very good feature it's amazing thing it secures your services then why it is disabled on the servers so when you have got answers of these things then it is more then you are doing justice then i will have a chance of getting a chunk from that less of opportunities which 2020 has done to us in the same manner another very important topic from the rscsa is swap memory so you should have a very clear understanding of what the uh, what exactly the swap is what it does and people will have all sort of uh, nonsense theories revolving around the swap that when the ram is fully used then the swap will be utilized by the the operating system nonsense this is nonsense you had been taught nonsense and you had paid for that <laughs> so you had paid for learning that nonsense so if in my uh, opinion if you are learning rscsa if the topic is of swap 
you should have a clear understanding of what are dirty pages, what is surpiness, how the operating system moves and when the, the operating system moves the pages, memory pages from the RAM, the physical memory to the swap. Is too much swapping good for my server? Is it going to affect the performance? Ask these questions. So these are the things which helps you learn more. You should have concept very clear about the swap. And one more thing which I wanted to make you like, like misunderstand that please have a very clear understanding of how the memory allocation is being done. These are the topics is to be honest they are not touched in RSCSA but we at Network Nuts always uh, go deep into this and we want you to learn these things so ask more. And no wonder uh, we are getting very good placements. We have done a lot of placements during this COVID time also. So ask for more from the life. Ask for more from your trainings. Yes, more is the key word. So the year 2020 should be of more. More from life as we are or I'm talking to, to you. As a news, I have uh, upgraded from like from the uh, all you, you all are aware I'm passionate about the bikes and I so I have just upgraded from Ion 83 Harley Davidson Ion 83 to, uh, to Harley Davidson Custom 1200 so it's more from a personal perspective so I upgraded from Ion to Custom 1200 so from 900 cc I have moved to 1200 cc in year 2021 so that's a very positive thing for me I'm happy so more is the keyword for 2021. So this is all uh, I wanted to talk to you in this talk on localhost for the and it's the first talk on localhost for the year 2021. So more is what you should be looking for in your trainings from your life from everything and I wish you a very best of 2021 and I sincerely pray to God that 2021 should be good for you your family your friends and everyone. So hope to see you one day either riding a bike or you I'll be try to keep on posting some ride videos also let's see how the things ride or how I ride in 2021 thank you very much god bless keep watching keep asking for more from life take care god bless